Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Semi-final night at the Wabash Valley Classic where four teams enter. Only two can advance to the championship game. Let's begin with the game of the day. The Bloomington South Panthers against the Sullivan Golden Arrows as we take you to Terre Haute South for a game that would end on the final play. Tied at eight after one quarter of play. Second quarter still tied. How about Randy Kelly driving and dishing to Gabe Pirtle for two. Arrows lead by a pair after this basket late in the first half. It's the Panthers on the move. Maddox Blackwell with the and one here with authority. Bloomington South leads it 23 to 17 at the half. Third quarter, arrows down, but not for long. Braden Flanagan for three. That makes it 23 to 20 in favor of those Panthers. Here come the arrows with more. Randy Kelly with an assist to Jackson Hills, who had a double double in this game 10 points and 13 rebounds, solely down by just one. Fourth quarter down by three. It's Flanagan kicking over to Rocco Rochelle from downtown. Don't mind if I do. We are all tied at 33. A minute and change to play. The arrows are down by five. Randy Kelly time again. Top of the key. Three of his 19 points tonight. The arrows trail by just two. How about number 12? He would tie this game at 43-43. Hits a pair of free throws with 37 seconds left. There's the second one. They're still tied. Panthers with the basketball. They call a timeout. 14 seconds to play. Here they go. A chance to win it. Trevor Taylor to Gabe Roberts. Back to Taylor for the win at the buzzer. Count it as Bloomington South stuns Sullivan 46 to 43. The final Taylor finishing with 16 points as Coach J.R. Holmes picks up career win number 700 as head coach of the Panthers. Calls a timeout, wants one for a low. I was thinking, get, get in the lane, get a layup, dish for a shot, but then they sent somebody for help, so I had to give it up, and my teammate found me after I gave it up for the game winner. It's always humbling. Uh, I've had so many great players and, and, and really good high school players and a lot of great assistant coaches have been very loyal to me a good administration uh, family that supported me my wife and my kids uh, you don't do it alone you have a lot a lot of help along the way and i always tell people it just means you're old and you get that far <laughs> Semi-final number two, it's Edgewood facing off with Greencastle. Opening points of the game go to Nick Sutherland. He would finish with 19 for the Tiger Cubs. Edgewood answers right back, though. One of their own, Caden Huttenlocker, ties this game up early on at three. But then Brody Whitaker would get going and take over, leading the way with 20 points this evening. Greencastle led by nine at the half. Third quarter, though, Sutherland to Whitaker again. They combined for 39 of the team's 55 points this evening. Just unstoppable. But Edgewood makes a late rally. It's Hutton Locker hitting this. Mustangs tie this game up at 35 as we head to the fourth quarter. To their credit, they kept fighting. Coleman Sater cuts the deficit to six here. But the Tiger Cubs are just tough, and they advance to the championship. They get the big win, 55-46, to 46, the final. So the championship game is set Wednesday night at Terre Haute South. It is Bloomington South for versus Greencastle, two new teams to this year's dance. They will tip it off at 7.30 on the south side. What about